Well, we got another package. All right, let's check it out. Oh, good doggy. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have something from Army Navy Outdoors. Feel free to check them out. They have a large variety of items. Army Navy Outdoors. Let's go ahead and get you out of the way. Thank you. And let's see how we can get this open. Looks like a folded over flap. So this box looks like it was created for the larger box. See if there's a manifest. Oh, even more flaps. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's dump everything out. Again, Army Navy Outdoors, and they also provide images of the items to help identify them. And since we just saw the first one there, let's get the big thing out of the way. What we have here, the first one listed was a Multicam tactical assault panel tap complete. As you can see here, it has the multicam pattern. Uh, let's see, do we have a harness? Yes, we do. Coyote. See the portions that go over the shoulder. So if we take the straps here, we can attach them like so. The shoulder portion will come up and over. And then attach at the front here. We'll travel to this Y portion back here. I think I saw a label somewhere there. USMC chest rig component. This is the harness assembly. And then these will come down. And then you can see that it goes into this thin back portion that goes across the back. And those attach to these side points here. Okay. So an appearance would look something like this. Alright, so you got the tap panel assembly with the harness. And it attaches in the sides. This would be the buckle set. And an extra strap set that goes along with the tap panel. Let's see if we can get this open real quick. So you get a bunch of strap extenders and a variety of different types of buckles that can then be used to slip onto different molly type of equipment and uh, be interchangeable with other assembly points like these as well. All right, next up, 
is the ACU Molly 2 Soldier's Bundle Military Surplus Kit. And this would actually be broken into actually a couple components. I'll just list everything off of here. Uh, there are two ACU sustainment pouches. I do believe we saw those earlier. These two right here. So two of the ACU sustainment pouches. You see here is just a typical button flap. Drawstring with cord lock. So we've got some side buckle attachment points. Molly, place for a name card or ID card. More Molly attachment points up there. Here is a label. Likewise, this one, very similar. Uh, let's see, we got the label here. This one's a little bit different. This one is from BAE Systems, SDS of PA Inc. This one is from Eagle Industries. So two different ones. One says U.S. The other one has a faded U.S. So two of the sustainment pouches. Put these up here for now. Next up... Let's jump down to the bottom here since it's in my hand. Military issue ACU Molly 2 waste pack used. You see here it's got two of the button loops here. Looks like a little bit of some staining. Let's see what else we got going on here. We got a zipper. Let's see where the pull is on it. Okay, two zippers. Interior is clean. Here's our label. Looks like some of that stain soaked through. Uh, waste pack. And this one is from Eagle Industries as well. Okay, you can see a little bit of fluff. And Molly attachments. You can either put this to the bottom of a pack or to the back of, say, the Fighting Globe Carrier, FLC, or whatever else you want to attach this to, or I believe this is a waist belt as well, this large buckle. You can see other attachment points as well there. So we got the waist pack and ACU. Next up, we have... Let's take a look at this one since it's right here. This should be the three-day assault backpack, U.S. issue. So you can see here the U.S. right there. Main flap has... Okay, these are just compression straps there. haphazardly opening things right in front so right here hook and latch just kind of a short pocket goes down to right about here zipper one goes a lot deeper down to here that was from the tap here we got some molly loops inside another hook and latch that goes down to about the same height as the one in front. So we got multiple layers just within this front area here. If we look, uh, more compression straps. I'm just going to redo these. Or, oh, leave that one open for now. Here we got two zippers of big poles on them. In our main compartment. Got a little bit of a plastic stiffener there. A little bit of glitter. Interesting. I'm not sure what was going on there. Yeah, there's glitter in here. Interesting. 
Looks like a Molly, is that a loop at the bottom? Yep, there is a Molly loop at the bottom, so you could secure something to the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. My finger's pulling that right there. I'm trying to see if there's any others. Not that I can see. You can see the reinforcements on the seam assemblies all the way around. Uh, at the top here, looks like, yeah, so this helps keep uh, this from wearing through. We got a shoulder straps, you can see how we also have these uh, adjustment straps that run through these loops that can be also used for something else. So we got a little bit of a pocket here in the back for easy access of, say, maps or whatever. Cross chest sternum strap. It's like a retention loop. It's a little bit loose there. See the slack. And then the shoulder straps themselves have these lockdown assemblies here. I'm not going to try to pull it. Oh, let's see. Yep. Let's see if we can read that. It's the patent numbers. Let me snap this back down real quick. So just a real quick look at the three-day assault pack. Let's see what else we got. Spot for our ID. Kind of the lower back across the front waist belt, but it looks like it's stowed right now. Okay. And let's jump to this right now. This should be a surplus Molly low carrier vest with pouches ACU. So this should be the uh, FLC. Let's see if I can get this untaped here. Quickly look at the pouches. Bunch of mag pouches. Let's see how many we got here. We got. I can't really read that one. This is from Specialty. Ooh. There we go. Specialty Group. That one's really faded. Also specialty group. Specialty group. Double bag. And this one is Eagle Industries. So, variety of mag pouches there. Looks like we also got two of the panel style pouches with the snaps. So, and also the back straps as well for Molly attachment. However, you want to rig that up. I see you at least one grenade pouch here, specialty group. Let's see who made these. Um, right offhand, nothing is leaping out at me as I done. Oh, right here. Specialty Defense. Specialty Defense. And the FLC itself. Because again, it's a kind of a mesh vest. US in the top here. Cross strap. Zipper front. Another larger strap there. You can see how we have kind of a cummerbund type of uh, belt system. This is already looped in at two points there. Very short uh, mesh pocket areas for quick stowage. You see how the straps kind of disappear into the sides here. A lot of molly across the front, up to around here, across the chest. Grab handle, turning it over. 
Molly continues across the back. So, FLC and the mag pouch sets. And then last but not least, the largest item, hold this back because it's just going to cover everything, should be the ACU Molly 2 Rucksack Military Surplus pre-assembled. So, this actually looks fairly new. Uh, yeah. So here you can see the large waist belt cummerbund assembly. See how that separates there. Back pad. Very similar style of uh, shoulder strap buckles as in the three-day assault pack we covered just now. Cross chest strap. Across the shoulder pads, plastic rigid frame, <clears throat> large top flap, US markings, lots of molly, and there's going to be multiple access points and uh, the lower pocket area, two, two zippers. This goes about to right around here, so there's two actual compartments per se, the lower portion and then the upper portion, depending on how you want to prioritize your stowage. Drainage grommet at the bottom, drawstring at the top of the style of cord lock. Let's see if I can get this to release here, there we go. Inside, try to see if remember if there's any other pockets. You see a lot of these grommets on the inside here. And there is an, the other zipper right here as well, but the pull is from the other side. So it's kind of an inner flap that kind of separates the two uh, compartments. One more look at the back assembly. Name tag area. It looks like there was a number. So this might have been actually uh, put into inventory, but maybe not used or not used a lot. So again, backtracking. This is part of the ACU Molly 2 Soldiers Bundle Military Surplus Kit, which included multiple items. Right here in large view, the Molly 2 Rucksack, pre-assembled. You can see all the components there. Somewhere underneath here is the FLC with the uh, pouch kit as well. Here we have the three-day assault backpack. We had uh, two of the sustainment pouches. We had a multi-cam uh, tactical assault panel with the buckle kit. So, a whole bunch of stuff. These all came from... Army, Navy, Outdoors. Feel free to check them out. Large variety of items. This bundle kit was actually a sale item with significant savings. So again, Army, Navy, Outdoors. Feel free to check them out. So this has been another unboxing video. Feel free to check out other unboxing videos on the channel. We also do show and tell videos on vintage, no circuit tools, and expanded topics. We do a selection of book review, media reviews, and a series called Curios for the Curious. Videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.